Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to do a little Wireshark tip. I haven't done one in a while and I think you'll find this one quite helpful. It's really quick and simple and I think you'll find this one helpful. I do. I use this all the time. So here's a bunch of packets on the screen. I'm just going to turn off my packet bytes at the bottom. There you go. So I got a little bit more real estate because I want to show you something. First thing I want to do is, uh, for example, I have all these things. We're all familiar how to do uh, different display filters like MAC address, IP, TCP, UDP, that kind of stuff. This is not that. This I want to show specific packets that don't fall into any of those categories. So for example, packet 790, I want to see just that packet. So I want to just go right click and I'm going to mark it. You can also press control M if you'd like. I'm also going to pick, I don't know, 800, right click. Uh, I'm going to mark that one too. And then I'm also going to go to the beginning of the trace file by pressing the home key. And I also want the CDP packet here, right click and mark. So I've marked three packets so far, right? If you take a look here at the bottom, my status bar, it actually says marked three. So that's good to know. Now, if I want to see those three packets, well, one way to do that is to take a look in the actual header here. You'll see it says frame is marked. OK, so I'm going to go here and select number four. And it says frame is marked true, right? The one below it, frame is marked false because it's not marked. So simply, simply frame is marked true. Right click, apply as filter and selected. And boom, there's all your packets. That's one way to do it, right? So I'm going to clear that out. I'm also going to go to E Edit and unmark all displayed. So now, if you look at the bottom here, there is no more reference to the word marked. So no packets are marked. And I want to do the same thing, but I don't want to mark the packets. So frame, period, number, space in, and curly braces. And I'm just going to list some packet numbers. I don't know, 12, 33, 69, 1, 2, 3, I don't know, 2, 1, 2. There you go. And end of curly braces. Enter. And there they are. So if you know which ones you want, you don't need to mark them. You can just say frame number in and just list them. This list can go on uh, for quite a bit. So I'm going to go back and I'll add 187. And I'll add, I don't know, 101, and I'll add 74, like that kind of stuff. So that's the easiest way to pick apart a couple of, I'm going to say, select packets that you want to concentrate on. From there, if you want to save them, file, export specific specified packets. Pardon me, I always say that wrong. And then from here, you'll see that it says all packets displayed 10, and that's how many I see. So if I want to save just those, I can just save those 10 packets. That's it. Short, sweet, simple. Have a good day, folks. Bye for now.